very thorough here. I know for a fact through uh, experience of people that have done their tests here recently. And, you know, you've got to do something like 35 lessons or something these days in order to sit your test. Um, if that's still the case, remains to be seen. Um, anyway, we've been reaching out to a number of different industries and, and, and driving centres is one we haven't really spoken to. Um, driving centres here in Dubai are adjusting to a new norm post-COVID-19 just like everybody else. Uh, we've been speaking with, I said we, uh, no, Mohammed, our producer, has been speaking with Samir Aga, who's the head of marketing at Galadari Motor Driving Centre. We began by asking him what the reopening process was like for them after the lockdown. It took us 20 days to reopen. And we were the first, we were given the priority first time, open at 30% occupancy when coming uh, on the staffing as well as on the registration and everything else. And uh, yes, it, it was, it, it was, uh, we were not actually very well prepared to be very honest with you because it came, it came on to us like a shocker, like all these things which happened and we had to shut down operations. We had to let go of the inspectors and you know, there was a, there's a lot of ambiguity because no notice was given. So we, under, we also wanted to know how they ended up uh, a reopening, but also the changes that were needed, uh, that they needed to implement in order to do so. We had to take care of a lot of things. We had to take care of a lot of things. First, first of all, it was 30% of registrations to be open, 30% of uh, staffing, which, uh, which was only required. And we had to do a complete social distancing uh, campaign across like what are the measures which we have been taking care of. And uh, RTA was uh, hands-on involved with us, coming and doing the inspections uh, time to time, checking on us if we have maintained the social distancing, if we have kind of marked the entire areas with the sanitizers and getting the cars, everything completely sanitized. A, a particular uh, protocol was given to us from the RTA themselves to take care of all these aspects and only after which there was an inspection again done by the RTA and that's when they were allowed to get on to the operations, which was only 30%. So, if anything, has anything changed uh, when it comes to driving lessons and, more importantly, to tests? Nothing's been changed drastically when it comes to training, driving lessons and everything else. Of course, everybody's mass. Uh, this, uh, for, uh, after every test and every training class, there's complete sanitization done for the cars inside and outside the cars going for a complete uh, uh, disinfection wash and then then another driver comes in and he does another inspection if the car has been sanitized the, then the rta person comes gets involved from the operation side and he does a little bit of a routine check yeah, and that's when we uh, put the student in the car after all these things have been taken care of Good to hear that the instructors are comfortable getting back into the cars. But what about people themselves? Are um, clients comfortable to come back through your doors again? You know, they have a certain belief because we are semi-government and they, everybody's aware of there's a lot of RTA involvement with us. RTA has been superbly supportive when it comes to um, creating that awareness, creating that we are safe for people to come over and do their training classes and everything else. So rest assured, uh, people, are, people are more comfortable coming into Galadari because they, they kind of have a feel. We have like thermal cameras in place. We kind of talk about it on social media. We talk about it on all the platforms and everything else. Good then that they are busy again, comfortable, busy. Uh, but Samir also took the opportunity to outline some of the trends they're seeing since reopening. Yeah, it's, it's been really busy and um, everybody is just coming forward and they want to register People are coming coming forward and they want to get ready for, they're getting winter ready as well. A lot of people who did not want to get their motorcycle license are trying and registering motorcycle license. They want to get winter ready. We have suddenly uh, seen the uh, shot up of uh, registration from the motorcycle uh, license registration as well. It's a new one for me, that one, winter ready. <laughs> Winter wheels, get on your motorcycle uh, and take advantage of the cooler temperatures, maybe. Um, well, one thing that they have seen is uh, more collaboration. Collaboration, that is, between companies post-COVID-19. A lot of companies are coming forward and they want to do collaboration with the uh, corporates as well, not only with driving schools. They want to just come forward and they want to just hire, do some mubadala. 
you know, like a border agreement where, you know, you do this for me and we do that for you. So this, 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 is, this is actually happening uh, a lot more uh, in the times of pandemic and a lot more people are open. The businesses which were not open to do a collaboration are now coming forward and say, hey, listen, what is that we can do together and to promote each other? You know, and uh, even when it when it comes to motorcycle like uh, motorcycles, um, I think uh, one of the biggest uh, corporate companies, Harley Davidson, has also come forward and say, you know, we would want to collaborate with you and promote the Harley Davidson as a company um, within your institute, as well as you could procure bikes and do a cross promotion. Samir Agar there, who's the head of marketing at Galadari Motor Driving Centre. And thanks for all your text messages. You're not alone, Brandy. Uh, somebody texting in saying, Brandy, me too.